Hey guys, ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to use the brand new official Raspberry Pi SD card imager or SD card flasher. This is official from the Raspberry Pi Foundation and in the past they recommended using Win32 disk imager. Then it changed over to Etcher and now they finally have their own version. This will work with Windows, Mac or Ubuntu. You can head over to raspberrypi.org forward slash downloads to get this. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, I personally do like this because it will automatically download the image we want to install to that SD card, flash it, and then verify the file system on the SD for us. So really, it's one fail swoop. We can get Raspbian or Libra Alec installed. You can also use a custom image if you downloaded it separately. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on getting it and using it. It's really easy to do. I'm on a Windows 10 machine, and a lot of people are going to be using Windows to do this. So we're going to grab the Windows version, but it works for Mac and Ubuntu. We got the EXE here. If you're on Mac OS, you'll get a DMG. We'll just click on the EXE we downloaded. From here, we're just going to install it. It's a quick process and we can run it. So like I mentioned, this is really easy to use. I do have my SD card inserted into my PC. I'm using a cheap USB to micro SD card reader because this machine doesn't have a full size SD card reader. From within the imager, we're going to choose our OS. At the very top, we have Raspbian. We can also choose the light version or the full version. Libra Elect for the Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, or the 4. Miscellaneous Utility Images. This is an EEPROM boot recovery for the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm actually pretty glad they added this, but don't use it unless you were advised to. We can totally format the SD card we want to use from within this imager. We can also use a custom image. So if I wanted to install RetroPie using their new imager, I'll just choose Use Custom, head to my download section. I already have RetroPie downloaded, and I can choose my SD card and flash this image. But for this video, I'm going to go with Raspbian. I'm going to choose my SD card. Like I said, I already have it inserted into my PC. It's a 32 gigabyte card and we'll click right. So I've noticed that this actually takes about as long as downloading Raspbian from the website in zip format and flashing it in Etcher. Right now it's going to download the image and write it, then it'll verify it. When this does start verifying the file system, you can always cancel it out, but I just recommend letting it run through. When it's finished up, you'll be prompted with a screen that looks like this. We can go ahead and remove our SD card and place it in our Raspberry Pi. So I'm just using a Raspberry Pi 4 here with a little HDMI portable monitor. Grab the SD card I just flashed, insert it into the Pi. First boot's always going to take longer than normal. Your SD card is now flashed. It's going to boot into Raspbian or whatever operating system you flash to that SD card. And you can start using your Pi. Personally, I really like this new imager. It does feel like it's taking a lot longer to flash the SD card, but you got to remember it's also downloading that image for you. If you were to just use a custom image like RetroPie, it'll flash the SD card just as fast as Win32 Disk Imager or Etcher would. So they're pretty much all on par with each other. But I do like the ease of use of this new flasher here and the ability to automatically download your operating system. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. This was just recently released and I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick video on it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll also leave links so you can download this in the description. But like always, Thanks for watching.